Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer asking for the forgiveness of my sins. I confess with my mouth that I listened to Brock Hampton in front of the hose. <laughs> and Weezer. Oh, I'm so sorry, Lord Jesus. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Juan Sanchez. So, I heard about the thing with the Spotify CEO recently, but at first I didn't really think too, too much about it because, hey, I don't use Spotify anymore. I use Tidal. But I, I finally got around to reading the article, and um, while I didn't really internalize too much of it, I did process that the, the, the CEO basically said that artists should be making music more often. Like, like they should be, like what he said was recording an album every three or four years isn't gonna work. Uh, so basically he's kind of like encouraging or, or manipulating artists into just trying to add to the deluge of content that's already out there. So his answer to there being too much content is to put out even more content because that's just how it is now. He's very clearly not an artist. He's very clearly not a creative type. I used to write music and it was terrible, but it took me forever to write anything that was even close to acceptable. I wrote hundreds of songs and in the four or five years I spent writing music, I literally only pulled out four or five songs out of those hundreds of songs that were worth anything. To ask artists to put out music more often is detrimental to their artistry. And again, what it comes down to is basically he just doesn't understand what goes into creativity. I mean, he's got a great, the Spotify has a great business plan. $10 a month for access to all the music. If you have a subscription music service, you're part of that problem. But also, streaming music is one of the best things to happen to music in forever. It's simultaneously the best and the worst. It's a double-edged sword. So because physical media isn't as popular, easily accessible because it doesn't make as much money as it used to, artists now have to tour more often, engage with fans more often, which isn't a terrible thing, but it does affect performers and musicians psychologically and physically. Touring is very, very hard when the world is normal. I mean, there is no touring going on right now, so artists aren't making money the way they usually make money. There's been a lot of musicians going to Twitch. Um, I've seen a lot of my favorite bands selling like merch bundles and stuff like that. Ah, it's just the, the sweat shopization of another industry. Like cr creativity, music, it's, it's, it's a landing pad for people who have something to say and want to say it in a way that feels effective to them. To ask them to put out more music to stay relevant, to ask them to put out more music than they're actually capable of is a very unfair, narrow-minded, elitist thing to do. I don't have any stake in this. Like I said, I stopped using Spotify a while ago. Basically, I jumped ship, went right the fuck over to Tidal, and yo, that shit bangs. $10 a month, no bullshit, no problems. I have not had any anything so far that's upset me about it. So, and I do think it's worth pointing out that at the end of this Consequence of Sound article about the issue, they say, we're currently offering an exclusive 60-day free trial of Tidal. But yeah, this sucks. It looks like artists are just kind of boned right now between a rock and a hard place until we can find a way to make some kind of unionization equivalent for artists and performers. There's going to be a lot of these types of issues. You shouldn't be punished for wanting to be an entertainer which unfortunately just so many people are now because it's so easy because everybody can get a fucking camera, talk to the wall 
for 10 minutes and fucking post it up on YouTube, uh, the, the, the problem of attention is that it's just being so spread thin and it sucks and we should all hate it. Basically, the Spotify CEO's point was, shit sucks, the world's changing, get with it. Which is a message I can get with, but also, if he didn't have $4 billion to sit on, how would he get with it? Would he still be saying that? I don't know. It's just a thing I've been thinking about. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, do the YouTube stuff, and uh, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.